FLL teams can have a maximum limit of four motors. Whether that's four large motors, four medium motors, or a mix of both, the grand total has to equal four. There are two main ways teams deal with this limit. The first is to build attachments that can do multiple missions, but this usually requires a lot of coordination. The second is to build many attachments where some don't need a motor. These non-motorized attachments are called passive attachments, and they are great because the more missions teams can go for per run, the higher their potential points are. They are connected to the robot the same way as any attachment and they complete missions while only using the robot's general driving motion. With that being said, here are three types of passive attachments. The first are slopes. There's not really a formal name for these, but there are any angle pieces used to lift up or press down mission models. For example, in the recent crane mission, teams have to lift a lever to release a blue unit and press the right lever to rotate the crane. As the robot drives forward with the slope, the lever will slowly be forced upwards due to the angle of the Lego piece. And of course, if the lever had to be pressed down instead, the angle of the piece would just be inverted. The second type of passive attachments are dumpers. Dumpers are mechanisms that will release an object after it has come into contact with a wall or a mission. For example, in the City Shapers mission designed for wildlife, teams would receive 10 points for placing the bat onto the tree branch. One possible solution would be to create a dumper that would release the bat after it has come into contact with the tree. The last type are one-way doors, which consists of a box and a flap that can only open one way. One-way doors are a great replacement for mechanical arms and they are extremely effective at grabbing loops, which are very common in FLL, as well as pretty much any other object. The only thing you have to remember when building one-way doors is that the flap has to be proportional to the length of the box. If the flap is too long or the box too short, objects won't be able to enter.